there's government funding going to these institutions that make us feel unsafe. And some of these institutions where Jewish students have been physically harmed by other students and have had professors use the term academic freedom wrongly and share information that is basically untrue. So I think that, you know, while we're saying that something needs to be done, I think that university administrators need to learn, and I think there should be a government support on this, that they need to do something or some, there will be some consequences that take place. What those consequences may be will be dependent on per-case scenario, I should say, in my ideal world. Um, but I think there needs to be better acknowledgement that our government funding is going to these institutions that are not keeping us safe anymore. As it relates to penalising uh, people who are in, in, the, in universities who engage in anti-Semitism, I think really at the end of the day all we're asking is that universities follow their own policies. So if a university determines that something is hate speech to, towards Jewish people, I would expect them to act in exactly the same way that they would in, in the context of hate speech for any other group of people. Um, but one thing I would like to say, which I don't feel like has been said here, is there's a lot of focus on, on how we penalise universities for not upkeeping their, their commitment to Jewish students. And also, I think, like, how, do, how universities penalise the people within their institutions who commit these acts of anti-Semitism. There is more that can be done. I mean, like... There, could, there are positive signs that universities and government could do that show that they care about this issue. You know, supporting Jewish student life on campus as uh, the, the community life for other minority groups is supported. Re real funding for those programs. Not having to say, oh, maybe we can't book the largest room on campus for Holocaust Remembrance Day because it's the university wants to charge us $1,500 for booking that room, right? Why isn't that just free? Um, because we're a minority group and it's Holocaust Remembrance Day. The other thing is that a lot of emphasis is placed on the role of the instigator, the person who commits anti-Semitism, to either come forward if they can't be identified or to, uh, to apologise in some way, or um, the, the Jewish student, uh, you must report more, you need to report more, you're not reporting enough. And there's another element, which is the bystander. Where are average, individual, daily, regular, run-of-the-mill Canadians in this? Where are you when you hear somebody calling all Jewish students terrorists or any Jewish student who believes that their, their ancestral right to um, self-determine in their homeland is, is, is racist? Where is the Canadian turning around and saying, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you say that to anybody? We are in... I, I, you, know, you asked before about universities should be a place to debate. Debate cannot happen when people are shut down.